years ago, well, almost four years ago, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer, and that is pretty common in adults. Pretty common in adults, yes, but pretty very much very uncommon in children. And I am a child, in case you hadn't noticed. The Star Won't Go Out tour, um, the name of the tour came from Esther's name. Um, Esther means star, and, and she certainly was a star, so that's why I, uh, we're doing this tour for her, in her memory and her honor. We decided for this tour that we were going to tour in the memory of our friend Esther Earl, who passed away from cancer back in August. Um, she was only 16 years old, and she was a friend of ours. And she just was one of the, like the happiest, smiliest, most excited, sweet, hilarious people I've ever met. And she just she was a huge Wizard Rock fan, huge nerd fighter, just so awesome in the community. Everybody who heard her story was just like just touched and inspired by everything she did and not because she was sick and not because she was some kind of superhero, it's because she was just like us and she just is gone now and it's really sad. Um, so we decided to tour in her memory. Yeah, I I was really struck by her ability to, I mean, she sort of thrust into the spotlight when the HPA kind of decided to, to really put her out there. And uh, at Infinitus, Andrew Slack called her and put her up on Skype in front of everyone, and she just is was so happy to be able to talk to everybody and like and just had such an inane grace to her. She was like such a sweet girl and just came across through the Skype call and just the whole room, probably like 300 people, 400 people that were there for the um, HPA for the wind check chase thing. Um, just, it, you could feel the, the change in the room. Just her internet presence even uh, was, was so powerful to all of these people. And I, I... Oh, So I got to see her a bunch of times um, at, at the local shows that we did around there. So I'm really bummed out because I didn't get to hang out with her as much as I would have liked to, obviously. She was taken from us way too early. Um, I found out a couple months ago that she actually lives right near me, so I immediately was like, I'm coming over and hanging out with you. I went to her birthday party. I was actually going to teach her how to crochet, and about a week later she passed, and I never got to go and do that. It just, she... Is she just? I, I really felt like we could have been really, really close, and just hanging out with her it was so. It was, she's one of those people that's really easy to talk to. Like you, you don't even know her at first, and then it just you feel like you've known her your entire life, and she's just. When I met Esther, she, that same warmth was there, and I, I mean, I was so, so privileged to meet her in um, in New York and at, at a Harry and the Potter show, and just like when I got to talk to her a little bit, we just like chatted about about a bunch of stuff in Wizard Rock and um, and it just it's it always struck me how she was just such a ray of, of something you know um, and that that no matter what she she was always exuding that and I I mean like I think that a lot of us try to uh, try to capture that but she just had that that was just in her blood and uh, and I always admired that I've admired that about her and um, I definitely try to emulate that I try to uh, use that as an example and as an inspiration that if she was able to do that um, in her circumstances that we all should be able to also. Thank you. I love you and I wish that I could have spent more time with you. I would say that you made us better. That, uh, that her strength and her courage it's inspirational. It is inspirational with so many people. Uh, people who never met her, never met her, never talked to her, um, or, or changed forever by just her simple positivity, by her smile, and her existence. And, uh, I think that we're all, we're all the richer for, for having known her.
weird toy bathroom with little toilet. Toilet paper, although I'm not sure why it's in my room. Barry Trotter, Hogwarts Tapestry, Unfinished Rubik's Cube, Dice Thing, Busy Water Cell Phone, Empty Tootsie Roll Jar, Sudoku Book, Cat Things, Socks, Shirt, Toy Lamp, Orange Pencil, Shelfy Thing, Fork, Cat Card, Camera Case, Picture, Computer Case, Remote Instruction, Comb, Archie Bobblehead, Junkhead Bobblehead, Wooden Spoon, Remote Control, Nail Polish, Sunglasses, Computer Screen, Hair bow thingy, brushy thing that is really, really soft. Price tag, price tag on chin, shaving cream, shaving cream on chin, Rubik's Cube with shaving cream on it, fake mirror, camera, teeth, Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince, thingy, t shirt, iPod, tank top, nose, comic book, this is my bed, call mustache, do not stick on head. I knows I have a nose.